So, Obi-Wan Kenobi teaser trailer, Disney Plus. I think there's going to be like six episodes. I heard that from somewhere. Maybe it was eight. Um, came out a few days ago. 12 million views. I've not seen it yet. Took a while. Here we go. Again. The fight is done. We lost. Stay hidden. The key. Hunting Jedi. This patience. Oh no. Jedi cannot help what they are. Their compassion leaves a trail. The Jedi code is like an itch. He cannot help it. Is he? Okay, it does seem bizarre to have, you know, obviously a series based upon that time period because presumably he's just, uh, you know, as we see in the beginning, he's just um, sat around spying on Luke for 20 years. <laughs> that could have been the entire series, just this. Um, but now it's introduced... Uh, more bad guys and that kind of makes it weirder you know presumably he's going to have fights with these uh... I know who, who this guy is because I've seen him from Rebels because I've watched Rebels he has these uh, very uh, um, what's the word not significant D I think it begins with D he has a very I would just go for unique but that wasn't the word he has uh, unique signs, not signs, symbols, no, markings on his head. And in Rebels, he had a head that was like that big. So it's a bit, you know, rounder than it should be. But it makes it clear who he is, the Grand Inquisitor. This woman was not in Rebels, so I don't know who she is. I guess just another Inquisitor. I actually don't like the idea of Inquisitors simply because it takes away from the Sith, I think. Like, uh, you know, watching the original uh, films, you don't get the impression that there's a bunch of other, you know, red lightsaber-wielding Force users running about in the recent past, uh, such as this woman and the... Uh, Whatever he was called, I've forgotten. I think he was just called the Grand Inquisitor, wasn't he? So yeah, it seems bizarre to have such a big story. Well, such, uh, you know, crazy characters in during this time period where Obi-Wan's meant to be kind of in hibernation, in hiding, given up, I guess, or just waiting for Luke to grow up and then not do anything until he was too old. For Yoda to train and then Yoda trains him anyway and then he doesn't complete his training and then he 
escape Vader anyway. And anyway, so and he manages to get a hit on Vader a couple of times on his shoulder. Remember, even though he escaped his training too early. But um, I read actually earlier today on Twitter that um, they were planning on having over. Uh, more in this in this series but someone higher up stopped them from doing it but that was the plan somehow initially to have uh what's Maul's first name or surname anyway but more i would have liked to have seen that a lot of people don't want to see that i say a lot of people i don't know how many but maybe it's just a small number but some people didn't want to see that because he was in rebels and he had a fight in rebels um, but I mean, Vader's going to be in this, apparently. I thought Vader would be in the trailer, but I didn't see him. I was seeing, like, um, screenshots on Twitter of Vader. I didn't see him anywhere. What's going on? Did I just miss it? thing is that he hasn't aged very much and you know the classic uh, meme I guess of uh, him aging so much in 20 years um, whereas you know the other guy uh, from Leia's home planet what was he called Leia's stepfather uh, Organa he didn't seem to age much by Rogue One when we know that Obi-Wan has got like the white beard and Looks like, um, I'm not good with names, am I? What was the, the actor, Alec Guinness? Was that his name? Yeah, but in here he doesn't look that old yet. Still not got the white hair and, well, I mean, he's got a few lines, but. I'm looking forward to watching this anyway. I'm sure I'll be frustrated because everything in Star Wars seems to be very frustrating and weird and conflicting. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, Vader's meant to be in this, and their, that kind of makes their meeting in A New Hope weird. So I don't see why you can't bring Maul into this. That would have been great. And especially since they showed Maul in the Solo movie. They should bring him in this. Especially since they're not making the Solo sequels now. So they really should, you know, should have done that, I think. And I should probably say that I didn't like the fight in Rebels anyway. But I get that that's supposed to be canon. So how do you, you know, uncanon that? Unless they met before that, which doesn't make that fight make much sense. But it's not impossible. So nothing makes much sense in this universe, basically. So... Oh yeah, when this music came on, I thought this is kind of inappropriate unless you're bringing more into it then that's appropriate more more reason to bring more in just for this it's like they wanted to use this mu music so but they decided not to bring more in but they decided to use the same music anyway even though it was used between Yoda and the Emperor um, but I don't think the Grand High Inquisitor warrants this music to be honest and it's not Vader's theme either. So. But it looks interesting. I'm definitely going to be watching. And. I hope. They don't mess it up too much. Because they always mess it up. To some extent. Um, yeah. I didn't expect to see him for some reason. So that's a nice surprise. Give me your thoughts. Bye.